Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on double integral in Cartesian coordinates. In the previous session, we learned double integration basic concepts. Those who don't watch the video, go to the playlist, watch the video first and come back here. So we are discussing three different cases in the basic video. Today we are going to see problems on case one. When you take the x limits and y limits, that is x equal to a, x equal to b, y equal to c and d, if all the values of a, b, c and d are constant, then it represents the region R as the rectangular region. We saw all the ideas in the previous video. Now let us go into the problem. Evaluate integral 0 to 1, 1 to 2 dy dx. So whatever the problem comes, always let us consider this as i for simplification. So when you write the answer finally, for example, i equal to 1, you can easily write like this. As we discussed earlier, first we have to evaluate the inner integral. So now integral 0 to 1 dy is there. I am going to integrate dy. It is going to be y and the limit is 1 to 2 dx. So we will be getting 2 minus 1 dx. Now integration of dx is x. When you apply the limit 0 to 1, you will be getting 1 minus 0. So my answer is 1. Therefore, capital I is equal to 1. This is the solution for this problem. You can see the typed version here. So whenever all the four limits are constant, the problem is going to be very simple and easy. Let us solve few more problems. Evaluate integral 0 to 1, 1 to 2, x square y dx dy. In the previous problem, we have simply dx dy. Here we have the function f of x comma y is x square y. As usual, let us consider this as capital I and first we are going to evaluate the inner integral with respect to x. I said earlier when you integrate with respect to x, all the other variables are considered to be constant other than x. So now integral 0 to 1, I am integrating with respect to x. So y is constant. Integration of x square is x cubed by 3. The limits are 2 to 1 dy. Now substituting the limit integral 0 to 1 y into 1 by 3 I just keep outside. 2 cube is going to be 8 minus 1 cube is going to be 1 dy. So now we will be getting 7 by 3. So I am taking the 7 by 3 outside integral 0 to 1 y dy. Next integrating y with respect to dy we will be getting y square by 2, the limits are 0 to 1. So lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 1. When you substitute this, you will be getting 7 by 3 into 1 by 2. So your final answer, capital I is going to be 7 by 6. Hope you understand. You can see the typed version here. Before going to the next problem, we are going to see a very, very interesting property of double integration. Now we are taking the double integral over the region R, f of x comma y dx dy. We are dealing with the constant limits that we have assumed our limits are y equal to c to d and x equal to a to b and we assume that all the a, b, c, d are constants. Now we know how to write the limit. First I will write the outer limit dy. So the limits are c to d. Then I will write the inner limits dx f of x comma y. The limits are a to b. If all a, b, c, d are going to be constant, then we have an exceptional property. The given order is dx dy. That's why we write the limits like this. Now I can change the order. Instead of dx dy, I can evaluate the problem by rewriting it as dy dx. So how to rewrite this? Suppose you are changing the order as dy dx. First we have to write dx. So the outer integral is going to be a to b. Then we write dy. The limits are going to be c to d. And this is only true when all the limits are constant. So now let us check this property. In the previous problem we solved this. Now I am going to take the same problem and I am going to change the order. Now I am going to convert the problem as dy dx and let us evaluate and we can find the solution is going to be the same 7 by 6. Now let us consider capital I is equal to the given question. I am going to change the order as dy dx. So first I will write dx and see the question the x limits are 1 to 2. So I am going to write integral 1 to 2 dx and now the inner integral is corresponding to y according to the question the limits is 0 to 1. So I will convert the problem as integral 
1 to 2 integral 0 to 1 x square y dy dx. You can see this. Now let us evaluate this. As usual, first we have to evaluate the inner integral. While you integrate with respect to y, all the other variables are constant. So x square is going to be constant. I will keep x square as it is. And integration of y is y square by 2, the limit 0 to 1. When you substitute the value, we will be getting 1 by 2 minus 0. So simply I can take this as 1 by 2 integral 1 to 2 x square dx. Now the integration of x square is going to be x cube by 3. Now substituting the upper and lower limits will be having 2 cube that is 8 minus 1 will be getting 7 by 6. You can see the type version. Therefore my capital I is equal to 7 by 6. So what is our conclusion? If all my a, b, c, d are constant, then either I can evaluate the problem as dx, dy or dy, dx provided we should have to write the limits in a proper way, which is my inner integral and which is my outer integral. So the solution for this problem is going to be 7 by 6, whatever the method you solve, either you solve this or this. Let us consider few more problems. This problem is little different. You see the function f of x comma y is x into x plus y. You should not integrate directly taking this function as x into x plus y. If these kind of problems comes, you have to simplify the problem x square plus xy. Now it is ready to evaluate. As usual, let us consider i as the given problem. Now multiplying the x inside, we will be getting x square plus xy. The given order is dy dx. First, I am going to integrate with respect to y. So, all the other terms are considered to be constant. Integral 0 to 1. Here, I am integrating with respect to y. So, x square is constant. The integration is x square into y plus here x is constant and integration of y is y square by 2 and the limits is 1 to 2 dx. Now, we have to substitute the limits for y, not for x. You should be very careful. Substituting the upper and lower limits, we will be getting this expression. Now, don't integrate as it is. Just try to simplify as much as possible. So, 2x square plus 2x. When you multiply the minus inside, minus x square minus x by 2 dx. Here we can see 2x square minus x square is simply x square. 2x minus x by 2. I will take this x outside. We will be getting 2 minus 1 by 2. So, it is going to be simply 3 by 2x. So, I can rewrite this as integral 0 to 1 x square plus 3x by 2 dx. Now, it is very easy for us to integrate this. x cube by 3 plus 3x square. Already 1, 2 is in the denominator. So, we will be getting 2 into 2. The limits are 0 to 1. So, if you apply the lower limit, it is going to be 0. When you apply the upper limit, we will be getting 1 by 3 plus 3 by 4. Now, taking the LCM, we will be getting 4 plus 9, that is 13 by 12. So, my answer is capital I is equal to 13 by 12. Hope you understand. Let us see a different problem. Here my function is f of x comma y is equal to 1 by xy. So the given order is dx dy. As usual, let us take capital I as my question. Now, first we have to integrate with respect to x. So capital I is equal to integral 2 to 4. I am going to keep this 1 by y as constant because I am integrating with respect to x. And we know integral dx by x is equal to log x. Here, log x means the meaning is log base e x. Because in some books they have the notation, they say ln x. Ln x means they will say natural logarithm. That is log base e. So for simplicity, I am considering log x. Log x implies log base e. Unless otherwise the base is not mentioned, we consider the base as e. So now integration of 1 by x is log x and the limits are 1 to 2 dy. Now integral 2 to 4 1 by y. Upper limit is log 2 lower limit is substituting the limits. We will be getting log 2 minus log 1 dy. And it is obvious we know log 1 is 0. So I can simply write this as log 2. You can see the typed version. And I will take this log 2 outside because it is the constant. Next we will be having log 
to integral 2 to 4 1 by y dy. Integrating this, we will be getting log 2 log y 2 to 4. Substituting this, we will be getting log 4 minus log 2. And we know that log a minus log b is equal to log a by b. Using this property, I can simply write this as log 4 by 2. Simplifying this, we will be getting log 2 into log 2. My answer is going to be log 2 whole square. Hope this problems make you much more confident to solve problems on double integrals where all the limits are constants. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more and keep up the great work. Subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.